Tell us a little bit about your firm. Sure. Seriplast is a company which is making bioplastic resin. So bioplastic resin are basically traditional plastic resin, but instead of using a feedstock, which is fossil fuels, we are using renewable, uh, renewable resources. You know, people sometimes do not realize that plastic is made of fossil fuel 100%. And, uh, it, you know, for a long time it was okay because everybody believes that we have unlimited reserve of oil and at the same time the price of uh, fossil fuel was very low. But at the time we were basically we start to realize that the price of oil may go fairly high and at the same time that the reserves are limited, it is making sense to look at alternative. And this is basically what we do at Seriplast. Could we make enough bioplastics to substitute for all the plastics, the traditional plastics that we're currently using? The answer to your question is today, no. Tomorrow, yes. And let, let me be more precise about it. I mean, in terms of the, the feedstock by itself, well, as I mentioned earlier, with the growth that we are expecting, we need to have several different type of feedstock. We don't want to be in the same situation the traditional plastic industry is using only one feedstock, which is fossil fuel. So we want several kind of feedstocks to be available. So this is the first point. And it's going to take us about, you know, three, five, ten years, in fact, to, to get there. The, the, the second point is we want to make sure that the economics is going to make sense and that we're going to be using commodity kind of product. So the algae is a good example, but you have plenty of other examples like wood chips, biomass, recycled materials that, that we can use. Um, now, in terms of the properties, which is really very often what people are saying, well, all those new bioplastics have the same kind of properties. I would say that at the level of technologies that we have today, we could substitute anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of traditional plastics. Um, in 10 years from now, it will be probably 60 to 70 percent. In 20 years from now, it will be probably 100 percent. How expensive will these plastic bags be? Well, it's, it's a good question. Um, if you look at compostable product, today all the compostable products are anywhere from you know, um, 15 to 30 percent more, more expensive. Now, at Seriplus, we offer another kind of, uh, of resin that we call the hybrid resin. The hybrid resin are resins that are um, basically developed for durable applications, which are traditional polyolefin in which we inject up to 50 or 55 percent of renewable content. We offer those products at uh, pricing that within, uh, are within 5 percent of traditional plastic resin. And the nice, the nice thing about it is that those products are being processed on traditional equipment at temperature which are about 50 percent lower than traditional resin resulting in very nice saving in terms of utility cost. So therefore, we are at parity. Now, very often people are telling me, but what is the real price of fossil fuels for being at parity? I see that price somewhere between $95 and $110 a barrel. And frankly, this is tomorrow morning. It is happening. So you will, because of the economics, you will see the bioplastic industry really, in fact, growing and, and really exploding, in fact, in the next few years.